nice and tightly wound and you have a lot of these spiky bits on your wound up wiry door mesh stuff and you'll probably just want to use the super glue to glue the ends together so they don't become unwound alright so now what you should have is a strand of spiky looking barbed wire and to get this as something a bit more interesting grab yourself a uh, something kind of thick and round and cylindrical uh, marker or something like that and wrap the wire around in a nice tight coil try to do this real quick and what you should get when you take it off is a coiled up bit like this and this looks a lot better for your terrain on top of you know trenches or things like that or you could get yourself uh, make it for yourself um, just some cross beams out of some sprue and uh, just put it on some sort of base and uh, lay some of this barbed wire in between and you have now for yourself a uh, halfway decent looking barbed wire kind of fence. Um, it'd look better if I had more of these on here, maybe two and then one on top, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that after I get some more of this barbed wire made of the right size. And that was basically it, some nice good looking barbed wire, and it's certainly a much cheaper alternative to Games Workshop or whatever other stuff is out there, which is just doesn't even have spiky bits on it. And it's certainly uh, easier than making all the little spiky bits yourself by wrapping wire around, cutting. Um, this is a lot easier method, and I hope this helps you guys out with your terrain projects and such. So I'm gonna try doing uh, videos once every week or two and um, I'll be taking requests for videos as well so if you guys have anything in particular you would like to see uh, just stick it in the comments or somewhere and I'll get around to it eventually up next I'll be showing you guys how to make some rusted corroded type metal after that, um, show you guys how to make like this kind of a thing, and also hedgehogs, uh, little tank traps. I don't seem to have any on hand right now. Um, but save up some sprue if you got some, or get some from a friend or something, because we're going to be using the sprue for the hedgehogs uh, tank traps and uh, these razor wire fence things here and we're gonna make them look all rusty and corroded